Bonjour, everyone. Hi, I'm Neshi Lokatz. Welcome to Star Nation's Communications from Home. It's Tuesday night, September 12th. I know. Second, we're already starting the second week in, in September. <laughs> it's like time just flies by so quickly when you're having fun, isn't it? Um, because we are living in exciting times. You have to admit that. You know, I mean, the every there's so much happening in the world that you you take some time off in the afternoon, you come back, and it's like, holy cow, when did that happen? Exciting times. So welcome to Star Nation's Communications from Home. And tonight is all about one of our newest contributing writers for Star Nation's magazine. And uh, she's also one of our radio show hosts, weekly host, and her name is Polly Jo LeBay. Um, and some of you already know Polly Jo. Um, and so we're going to um, do a little something here while we wait for people to come into the chat room. We're just going to do a little a little housekeeping stuff, okay? Um, <clears throat> because this is going to be recorded, and lots of other people will be watching the recorded video. And welcome to you, too. Um, there's something that I would like to share with you. Um, when we were, we're working with an app called Be Live TV, and it's really helped us um, create, I think, really interesting shows uh, that are live stream on Facebook. And one of the things that we do when we create a show for Star Nations Live is that um, there is a reminder that we can do, and it shows up on our our main fan page, which is the Star Nations Magazine Radio and Publishing fan page, where we're being broadcasted tonight. And when you see that um, that posting from actually from Facebook, um, what you're going to see is is the it's a picture of our host, and I'm sorry, not me, yeah. <laughs> certain guests are, that appear on there, and it gives you the day and the time, right, of the show. And on that picture, you can actually click. It says "Get Reminder," and you can click on that. I'm going to see if I can find it, um, so you know what I'm talking about. And um, the reminder is that uh, it will actually come to your your messenger. And so you will be able to um, know when the show is starting. Because I, I tell you, no, I know for a fact because I've done this. I know that I want to listen to a show and or watch a, a video and it's going to be live. And I get started working on something and I lose track of time. And um, before you know it, I'm like five minutes late or 10 minutes late. And I just I just want to be able to be a part of it. And so I am here. Um, yeah, here it is. Let's see. We're going to bring this up. This is this is what you're going to see in Facebook. It says that um, today at. It's, it says 7 p.m., but the show is at 8. When we create the show, it takes my my where I'm at, which is a central time zone, and puts it in there. Um, so it's 8 Eastern and 7 Central. Um, and so this is what you'll see in the Facebook fan page for Star Nations Magazine and Radio. And so what you can do is click on the reminder and to set it, and Facebook will send you a nifty little Reminder. It's kind of cool. I like it. So here we go. We're going to take that down. And we are going to bring Polly Joe. Hi, Polly Joe. Hi. Welcome to the show. Thank you very much. I'm glad to be here. You know, one of the things I'd like to do before we get started, before we jump in, is I would like to um, ask our, our listeners and the people watching the video um, if they could do me a favor, if they could like and share the uh, live stream. And so I'm going to do that right now on my phone. And you can you can share it to wherever you'd like. You can share it to your timeline. You can share it to a special group that you're part of. So I'm liking it, and I'm sharing it to um, my timeline. Yeah, you know, and Facebook is, is always updating stuff, and so I just realized that it looks different now. <laughs> <laughs> so now I have to write a little something. I'm just going to say join us. 
and then I'm going to post it. And that way, um, other people can, can come and join us. There. And it's quick. It's easy. And one of the, and why I, we ask you almost during every show a couple of times is because um, it's just easier to find us. You know, it's just so much easier. And so that's very helpful. And so we appreciate you doing that. And guess who's in the house? Denise Iwana. Hey, <laughs> honey. <laughs> Hi, ladies. Hi, Dana. And then she also said she shared. Thank you, Dana. We appreciate that. Yep. All right. So, Polly Joe. Yeah. Yeah, Polly Joe. I have your bio here right in front of me. And I would like to share just a bit of your bio with, with our listeners and the people who are watching um, so that they get to know you a little bit more. I know that there's a lot of people who know you on the East Coast, um, but we want to get let people know about you that here in the central part of the U.S. and heck, all over the world because we, we have readers of the magazine worldwide. As, as Dana would say, we're, we're across the globe. <laughs> so we're, I just want to read just a little bit to, to our listeners. Polly Jo LeBay is the founder of the Trinity School of Mystical Energy in Western Massachusetts. She is a renowned healer and educator who studied with so so Sonia Choquette, Lisa Champion, and Reese Thomas. Polly's depth and breadth of both traditional and energy medicine enable her to accomplish her mission of healing the healer. And let me tell you, we need people like you because we healers tend to burn ourselves out. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we yes, we do. She is a Reiki master and teacher and a sixth sens sensory practitioner. Her areas of expertise, now listen to these, include Reiki, alchemical healing, IET, aroma touch technique, angelic essence healing, psychic development, tarot, and empath work. She studied with Reese Thomas Institute of Energy Medicine, received her BA in education from the University of Massachusetts with a concentration in dance and minors in psychology and mathematics. You're what we call a well-rounded teacher. <laughs> And students. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I love the dance part. I really do. Out of all and all the other stuff that you do is really needed and very um is a gift to others, right? But it, when I when I first read your your bio, it was a dance part that kind of okay. stood down at me. It leapt. Yeah. <laughs> what kind of dance? Um, I taught dance for um close to forty years. Mm -hmm. And I taught tap, ballet, jazz, acrobatics, modern, point, um, contemporary, hip hop, and ballroom. Ballroom. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm trying to get my husband in in there to wear lessons for ballroom dancing. I said I just want to be able to do a really cool, graceful waltz. Really. Yeah. yeah. You know? We did a lot of that. <laughs> that and an Irish jig, and let's see. Um, Yes, I, I love to dance. I do. And especially powwow dance. Get me out in the powwow ring and every inner tribal, you'll see me out there. Awesome. <laughs> so Polly Jo is also a radio show host for us on Star Nation's radio network. Um, she is the host of Ch Chakra Sessions, and she her show is on Tuesday mornings at 1130 to 1230 Eastern Time. Yay. Yay. <laughs> Well, I just wanted to read a portion of your bio sure. for everybody because um, you have a really varied background, but it's really, really in depth. Yeah. And when I saw that in the heal, you know, helping to heal a healer, because that's your mission, right? You yeah. Know what you're here to do that you that you really do need that depth in order to to help the different kinds of healers light workers all across the spectrum. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Do you want to say a little bit about that? Because that's really an important piece, I think. Sure. Um, my background comes from, um, I'm uh, someone who's survived with some very severe post-traumatic stress. Um, and through that, I went 
to look for the answers on how to heal it because I never felt like I needed to survive it, that there was a way to calm the energy down and to put me back to who I felt I was before all the trauma. And so I tried a lot of different things Mm -hmm. and basically started to create a toolbox to help other people because I knew I wasn't the only person on the planet. And um, I spend a lot of time in my area. We're very close to the um, VA hospital. Mm. So I work with a lot of veterans, but I actually spend a lot of time um, healing the support staff because they need to be in their best place to be able to help those who need the help. Right. Um, So I really um, looked everywhere. Um, I traveled to um, Chicago to get some of my training with Sonia Choquette. Mm -hmm. Um, I went back and forth to Boston. And then um, two years ago, I made a pilgrimage to Brazil um, to be with John of God and to absorb his healing and really um, get a taste for how I was supposed to do my work. And it, and um, I had a bunch of uh, spiritual downloads that happened prior to that and um, and while I was there. <laughs> I bet you did. So, yeah. So basically downloaded the curriculum for my school um, and a bunch of healing remedies to using essential oils to help people. Um, mm. So that was cool. Well, you know, it's that energy. Um, uh, Holly Hagen just joined us, and I just want to say hi, Holly. Yeah, hi, Holly. <laughs> um, it's that um, when I talked about the depth and the breadth of um, your expertise and what you bring, what you bring literally to the table, right, yeah. is because the frequency, the the energy of the gifts that other healers are bringing to you that need assistance in healing their own um, is that you have to cover a large spectrum. Yeah. I, I, I've had quite a bit of that lately. I had um, just last evening, um, I had a very, very gifted healer who was, um, who got brought to me (laughs) kind of like, can you help her? Mm. And she had opened a multitude of her gifts all at once and was in a state of what we would call um, ascension psychosis. Um, So normally you would have taken her to the hospital and they would have medicated her and all of that. Um, But instead, I gently put her energy back into her container and got her very present. Um, It took it took a few hours. Um, to do, but, you know, she basically was able to go home and sleep it off. And this morning called me and was like, thank you for doing that. Um, So being able to access whatever tools I need, however deep they need me to go is, is yeah, definitely part of my mission. (laughs) And We're grateful for that. And you know what else we're grateful for is that you're here with us at star nations and that, Uh, yeah, and that Polly Joe's um, articles are going to start in October. Um, it's kind of like a you get it twice. Yeah. <laughs> I got to do it twice. Yeah. <laughs> and that in the 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 uh, October issue um, will be Polly Joe's debut, her premiere for the column Chakra Sessions, and then later in the month on October twenty third, we'll publish. Um, the special issue, the free digital issue in a nominal printing fee for the for the printed um, ish, um, variation for that. But that is the um, the special issue that uh, Dana and I, we, we decided we we're going to do one every year just as a thank you um, for our readers. And so Polly Joe has a special um, article in that one, too. So you get uh, twice in October, you get to read. Polly Joe. And I just want to show everybody, I'm trying to get to your, um, here we go. I'm going to bring this up and we're going to do, let's see. I don't know. I think I'm going to show it solo first so everybody can see it. 
Thank you. This is um, what I'm showing, Polly Joy. I don't know if you can see this. Yeah. Is your your promotion that we have for your radio show, um, and I love it because it shows all of the the chakras. Me too. <laughs> the colors of the chakras, and um, I think it really does um, pictorially show the work that you're that you're here to do. Yeah. And can can you share a little bit with us about? Um, so I'm going to take that down, bring us back up, um, share a little bit about your perspective on how you bring the information and in writing out. Okay. And, um, and then if you can follow that up with, what is your first article going to be like in the October issue? <laughs> um, cool. Um, so... I am somebody who gets an idea um, of what I'm supposed to write about. Um, generally, it's given to me from spirit. Um, I have some very high vibrational um, beings. Um, <laughs> my students call them, you know, the the council because <laughs> I often feel I, I'm held accountable. Um, uh -huh. They. <laughs> they uh, they generally give me an idea of what I'm supposed to talk about. And uh, for October, we're going to start with sort of an introduction to chakras and how I perceive them, how they've been shown to me, um, which has a little bit of a different spin than the traditional, um, because as our plan new energy that's out there, our chakras are learning to accommodate it. Oh yeah. Yeah, you're sorry sorry guys, but um Polly Joe's freezing up a little bit. Um so if we hang in there, I'm sure I'm sure her video will come back, her camera. Darn, it was right in a good spot too, right? When she was she was telling us about her first her first article for the magazine. Okay, now she just dropped out and so she's gonna come back in. And uh, she'll be back up in just a second. So one of the things that I, about Polly Joe um, that I wanted to share with everybody, and that is, and I thought, Man, do I should I wait till she comes back? Now we'll just we'll start talk, talking about her while she's trying to get back into the show, right? <laughs> um, Polly Joe's show on Tuesday mornings. Um, when you listen to it, she it was really bringing in a lot of really good information. It's like this morning was about forgiveness and the importance of forgiveness. Now, we've heard lots of information about forgiveness, and we've also um, read a lot of things about forgiveness and why it's so important. But when you listen to Polly Joe and how what forgiveness does to our chakras, you know, um, it really starts to maybe connect some dots for you, or maybe there's some information in that show that was meant for you to hear. And so you can go to um, the Blog Talk Radio um, archives. And I believe uh, Denise, Dana, <laughs> Dana uh, posted the the link for this morning's shows um, on our Facebook fan page at Star Nation's uh, Magazine and Radio. And I'm just going to check on Polly Joe here um, and see... If she's going to, nope, I don't see her. There's no message. You know, sometimes you have to stop, you know, end uh, the the um, the computer thing, you know, turn it off, turn it back on, reboot. So she may be doing that. Yeah. All right. So why don't we do a little, a little talk. The stuff that I would usually do at the very end of the show, why don't we do that right now? And, um, and that way um, we can talk to Polly Joe a little bit longer during the show, right? All right. So I'm just going to show this. Everybody has probably seen this more than once. This is our our um, cover for the August issue of um, Star Nations Magazine. And uh, the September issue um, was just published on the 10th, and that is available um, for purchase as well. Um, I just don't have the print on demand. It's ordered. It usually takes about six to six to ten days. For, for me to get it once I order it. And uh, Rochelle Lottie's in, in, in the house. I'm going to show this. Hi, hi, Rochelle. And Rochelle is actually going to be in, in Wisconsin this month. And uh, we were, we set up a, a lunch date. 
So, yeah, I'm looking forward to it, too, to actually meet in person, you know, so so much fun. Um, and so this is the magazine that uh, Polly is going to be writing for us, um, is in the Star Nations magazine. It's a monthly issue, and it is available in print on demand, um, PDF and web viewer, and through our partners at magcloud.com. And so you can go to magcloud and uh, search for our magazine and um, you can search for star nations magazine. They'll come on up and you'll see all the back issues that we have there. Um, and so you can, you can order it from them. It's also available in, in um, digital form for both Apple um, and Android mobile devices. So however you like to read, we have you covered, right? You can, Hold it in your hands if you're one of those people you need the tactile. If you're one of those people who don't want to clutter up your, your laptop's come hard drive or anything like that, then you can you can get it um, as a PDF or as a web viewer. Hi, dear. There she is. She's back. <laughs> She's back. We were just doing a little housekeeping stuff that I usually do at the end of the show while we were waiting for you. Sorry about that. Not sure where I cut out. <laughs> That's okay. Um, where you left off, yep. well, the last thing we heard mm -hmm. was you were talking about what your first article was going to be like. Cool. Um, how you were, what you were going to share with us in your first article. Perfect. My uh, first article is going to be all about um, an introduction to um, chakras and how I have been shown them. Our chakras have been um, matching the vibration of Mother Earth. So as, you know, the Earth energy shifts, so do our chakras. And so the, the way they're working in our body is a little different than they used to. <laughs> so I will give an introduction into that in October, just so people know kind of my perspective and where I'm coming from. Mm -hmm. Um, and each month I'm going to write um, in depth about one particular chakra and the energy and how it affects our physical, emotional, mental, and spiritual life. Um, so people can have sort of like a primer on how to start taking care of themselves and their own energy. That is going to be great. Great information. You know, because... You know, information about the chakras have been out there for a, a few decades, right? Yeah. But one of the things that I think that you're bringing with you is what is the frequency and the energy of our chakras now? Not yeah. not in the 90s, yeah. not in the, in the early 2000s, yeah. but in 2017, 2018. Yeah, and as our when when we went through the uh, shift, a lot of sensitive people felt the a uh, shift in 2012. Yeah, um, at the end, especially near the winter solstice. Mm -hmm. And when that occurred, what happened is a lot of people brought on activated. Let me put it that way; it's easier. Um, some chakras that were dormant. We didn't need them in our body. And so these ones had to come on to support our chakras mm -hmm. now because of the higher frequency, the higher vibration. Mm -hmm. We didn't need it when we were just sort of dealing with a lower bandwidth. It's kind of like the internet. Yeah. And as the speed got faster and faster, we needed more bandwidth, more depth, and we needed to hold more energy. And so a lot of people are having um issues with their energy in their tissues <laughs> yeah. um, because they're running at a higher speed. Yeah. Yep. That's, you know, that's fascinating. Fascinating. And I'm sure that you've talked about this on your radio shows as well, right? Yeah. And I was just explaining that um, because t this morning you were talking about forgiveness, if I remember yeah. right. Right. Yeah. And um, I was just telling everybody that the, the shows through uh, blog talk radio, um, are archived and that they can go there. And I know that Dana, uh, Denise Iwana, um, has uh, put the link at the, at the fan page uh, for Star Nations and at the public page and also in the closed group um, for the network. 
for the radio network. So anybody can go and and get though that archived show and listen yeah. to because I think it's important. It's important to uh, to take care of our our energy field. In every show that I do, I do um, a healing meditation as part of the show. And so whatever the topic is, there's a healing for that particular energy that's included. And usually it's about a 20 minute meditation. So, um, and it's toward the beginning of my part of my portion of the show. So Mm. it allows you to kind of do the clearing right away if you need it. So yeah, there's quite a bit in there. I'm excited. (laughs) Well, you know, like I said to you during our, our prep work for the show tonight, is that we we at Star Nations, you know, we're very, we appreciate, and we're very blessed to have your expertise in Star Nations um, to be a part of the community and to offer the um, the experience that you have, your gifts that you came in with, and then all of the all of the um, skills that you that you put on top of those gifts. <laughs> It, I mean, that's a lot of energy to output to over the, over the years to be able to do that. You know? Yeah, it's it it's definitely been part of my calling, and uh, one of the things that I've been working on over the past two years, especially, um, is um, doing healing work on multiple people at the same time. So mm-hmm. the healing meditations are beautiful for that because it allows me to reach and help heal many more people than I would get to be able to see in person. And that's part of my mission too. So right, right. Star Nations has been perfect for that for me. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm glad, I'm glad. And you know, um, I was, that just made me think about when I used to do the illuminated heart, um, workshops and I learned that I could do up to 18, 20 people, um, in a healing session. Um, and yet, you know, I know that, uh, my teacher, um, Drunalo Melchizedek, he would have like hundreds, <laughs> you know, and it's like, but he, he, he had, he had assistance and I used to be one of his assistants a long time ago. And so it was, um, so, you know, it's doable and you just have to have yeah. the vehicle. Yeah. To last, do last year, um, I did a workshop with 150 women, um, with no help. Mm. and um, did a healing on the entire room. Mm. Uh, so that was really, that was really cool. Um, and I, I've done hands-on healing. Um, I, I did a workshop where I did hands-on healing um, of 200 people in two days. Wow. That's, um, that's a lot. Yeah. Yeah. But, you know, as you increase your frequency, then you're able to sort of, I feel like an MRI machine where I can kind of scan quickly, but it's as I scan, the healing goes through. So sure. Sure. We got, we got the technology. (laughs) (laughs) And I can show you how. (laughs) Now, speaking of that, um, can you give us a little information about if somebody wants a a chakra session with you, how do they find you? And um, where is your school located? Okay. Um, There are a couple ways to find me. Um, Obviously, connecting through my Facebook fan page with Chakra Sessions um, is a great way. You can send me a message. Um, People can message me through Facebook on Messenger um, or through my site, uh, Trinity Healing Sanctuary or Trinity School of Mystical Energy Healing. Both of those, I have Facebook pages. And we respond really quickly because I have an assistant who helps me check that. So usually you're going to hear back from us pretty quickly. And you can always look on um, my websites, which are Trinity Healing Sanctuaries, plural, dot com, and Trinity Mystical Energy, and that's the school Um, My school is right here in Western Massachusetts, and it's based on um, teaching you how to heal other people, Mm -hmm. Um, but in that process, you have to heal yourself first, Um, because you can only be a strong enough healer for 
um, the space that you have. So mm -hmm. we clear your, we clear you out <laughs> and then allow you to fill in with all the healing energy you've ever held in any lifetime. We activate all of them. Yeah. Which is great. Yeah. You know, um, I don't know. That's to me, it feels when like when you take a cup, one of those travel cups, you mm -hmm. know, and um, you can collapse them. Yes. Right. Yeah. And when you're bringing in all of the experience that you have from other lifetimes, mm -hmm. it there, it there, or even better, better, better one is the um, Russian nesting dolls. Yes. You know, and um, and so that's that's the the image that I have in my head anyway when you're talking about that. And I think it's really important to be able to bring forward not to live those past lives over you already did that, but to bring forward all of those gifts that you that you gained, the right. wisdom that you gained from those past lives so that, that they're here as a tool for you now. That's what you're talking about, right? Yes. Yeah, it's tidy. That's so, exciting. Yeah. The the way I describe it um to my students is that you can, when you're learning, you can hold one or two or three strands of healing energy at a time. When you call in the healing that you have used, you're weaving back the tapestry of your soul. Mm. And so as you weave this tapestry, it gets thicker and stronger. And so you're able to access even more and more healing that you had in the past and it happens very quickly they come together because they're meant to go together so they right. kind of like right go together and, you know, and, and it's really nothing that you have to learn it, it's uh -huh. something that you're that you're remembering mm -hmm. exactly yeah yeah it just it all of a sudden is active and you're not really sure where it came from i don't worry about where it came from um every so often they'll tell me something so that i have a frame of reference Mm -hmm. Yep. About a hundred and fifty. Oh, stick, stay with us. <laughs> Come on back. Her her audio, I mean, her video is is freezing again. Um. Yeah, you know, we'll 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 say that it has something to do with Mercury retrograde because we're still in the shadow, right, of the Mercury retrograde. Um, so as she's working on co to come back in, we we have uh, just a minute or two here. Um, I just wanted to share with you um, through po Star Nations Publishing, we have two books: The Tarot Journey by Julie Hedges, and this is a really great book if you are interested in the ancient language of the tarot. If you're just learning, if you're intermediate, it's great to, you know, to strengthen your skills and um, find out more of that gift that you brought in. Um, and if you're a teacher, um, we have teachers who are buying this and gifting it to their students. So it's a really good book. And Julie is one of our writers and also one of our radio show hosts. And this one, Missing Nana by Minnie Kansman and the artwork in here is the illustrator is um, Christina, Christine Pollock. And um, this is a really sweet, sweet book because it's about um, helping children, just about anybody really, who's uh, experiencing grief, you know, and maybe it might be the first time that they've experienced someone close to them who's walked on. Um, who has crossed over. And uh, many brings in the nature spirits to help us to work through the grief. And as she says, it's meant for children 103 to uh, from three to 103. And, um, and so with the, the, the missing Nana, I'm just telling people about the books that we have while we were waiting for you. Oh, no, I love the book. So I'm glad you are. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And so Missy Nana is for children who have faced the death of a significant person in their lives. It shares an emotional, loving and playful glimpse into the world of nature, offering a unique perspective on how this unseen world assists us every day. And so those books are available in print and also by ebook. And you can go to lulu.com to order those, um, or you can go to barnesandnoble.com or amazon.com. So, yay. Those are great books to have. So I'm glad you're back. <laughs> <laughs> glad you're back. I have a sneaking suspicion I have uh, a 
an adult child playing video games upstairs interfering with me. <laughs> <laughs> I have one of those. <laughs> Usually, usually it's I'm I'm texting him to you know, can you please turn down the TV because I can hear it. Um, <laughs> so anyway, I I just wanted to thank you for taking the time to be with us tonight and thank to share you. with us um, about what you're going to be bringing to the magazine, and uh, we're looking forward to it. I can't read I can't wait to read that first article, um, and I get to see those articles many many times before. <laughs> before they actually hit the newsstand. Um, and so thank you so much for taking the time and uh, sharing with us. We appreciate oh, it. You are so welcome. Thank you for having me. Yeah, and, you know, last words, anything that you want to share with our audience that you would like them to know before we sign off? Um, just really whenever you're in a place where it's hard or it feels um, like you are alone, reach into your heart and allow your higher self to speak for you and everything will be perfect. Great. Thank you so much for that. Mm -hmm. And thank you everybody for being with us tonight on Star Nations Communications from Home. And we'll see you next week. Um, and my guest next week is uh, my Nami, my business partner, and Diane, Diane, where'd that come from? Denise, Denise, I wanna, wow. I think it's time to go to bed. <laughs> it's been a long day. Um, so anyway, join me next week for, for a chat with uh, Denise and I. We've got some exciting things here at Star Nations that we'd like to share with you and to unveil. And so you can join us next week for that. And with that, Bama Mina, which is Potawatomi language for until we see each other again. Good night, everybody. Good night. Thank you.